what's the crack lads we are back with another training guide training experience guide and this is a really really good tip for you check out part one of this series but as you can see here we've got a maximum amount of experience points here look at all this with 300 percent bonuses we're going to show you how to do that exactly here right so you can see there that we get a bonus 300 on this and this is a mixture that you can double up and double dip with the three experience points and then also this tip that i'm going to give you in this so stay watching it is invaluable if you're looking to get ready for eFootball 2024. And GP is so easy to get, but trainers are a little bit harder to get. So I'm just going to show you real quickly here from the last video and something that we did again. We've done this twice. I mean, Lombardi, everyone that knows how to farm uh, trainer points and XP is going to be able to use this method, right? It's very, very simple. And it, you know, the game really encourages you to do it, uh, to be able to train and get loads of trainer points. So, so as you can see there, we have not trained, but we have all the progression points at a level 45 out of 50, 50 Lombardi. And we're just going to legacy transfer that guy without training anything. Some people have asked me the question in the last video, do you have to put the progression points in or can you just train him straight up? You can just train him straight up. You don't need to use the points. Once he has the points on his card, you don't need to use the progression or auto allocate or anything like that. So that's the first thing to get out of the way, right? So we just showed you there with Pulisic. But I'm going to show you a really key tip that massively speeds up this process of getting a maximum amount of trainer XP and just being able to train up your players super, super quickly. A lot of people have asked me how to do this. So here is the video how to do it, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is understand and try and get your head around what this method is, right? So we're going to go into the Spanish League. Any event will do. It doesn't matter. We're not going to focus too much on the bonuses here. We're not going to focus, as, focus on the objectives or anything like that. We are simply going to fill our team here. So you can see I've got a couple of players that are playing out of position. We've got some players that have got the bonus. We've got some players that don't have the bonus. For this video, we don't need the bonus. We don't need the squad bonus. We're not worried. We will have to end up playing 10 plus matches on this to you know max out a team anyway. Um, but it is a really, really quick and the most effective and simple and quickest way to do this. So we're going to go back out here and we're going to check our manager. Okay, So to get this 300% bonus, we are going to need a coach such as Valbuena, who we're using here and this guy Valbuena is Diego Simeone his coach infinity is here it increases experience points from defensive players that they gain during a match by 300% okay so that really means that if you're getting a thousand points with a player and you've got a CMF and you've got a CB your CMF is going to have a thousand points and your CB is going to get 300 plus on top of that right so he's going to get 1300 points okay so it's very very simple we're just going to go in here and buy the cheapest or free center backs and we're going to fill our squad with these center backs now you can also do this if you want to rapidly train up center backs that you want to keep we'll get to that in a second but for the purposes of this video we're just going to quickly quick fire um fire through these and get and sign a couple of these center backs and then go back to the main menu that we were at before so we're going to be doubling up so Simeone's uh, coach and affinity gives 300% to defensive players. So we're going to fill our starting 11 on our bench with center backs. Basically, you can do this with left backs or right backs as well. Any defensive players, it doesn't matter. So instead of having, uh, say, the likes of Lee Kang or Marcus, Marcus Lorente or any of those, we're going to simply put center backs in. Now, we have Araujo here as well and Jordi Alba. If we want to train those up and bring them with us into eFootball24, we can do that. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to be using a load of fodder that we don't need that we're going to be using basically as farm um farming to be able to get the xp okay so we're just going to transfer in all of these players doesn't matter the positions doesn't matter that they've got no squad bonuses basically it doesn't matter where you play them you can play a center back right wing it doesn't matter right and as i said once the players are cbs once they are defensive players left back right back or cbs this will work where you get the 300 percent boost so you can do this very very easily you don't need to worry too much about the squad bonus yes you can double dip if you wanted to use the likes of kunde or militao or any of those guys that have the squad bonus like garcia there you can use those, but that'll only give you the squad bonus. If you want to double up with Militao and Rudiger, you could do that as well, where you could transfer them in. They're going to get the squad bonus, which means you're going to take less to unlock the objectives and to actually clear and get the rewards in this objective in the event. But you can do this with the center backs that pretty much you're just going to be getting rid of, right? So once you have your team pretty much set, it doesn't matter what positions. The beauty about this method is you literally do not need to win any games because you're going to be simming so many games. You literally don't need to win anything. You don't need to win the games. You can lose five, six, seven, nil. It doesn't make a difference. We're going to be setting it on legend and getting the max difficulty bonus um, with that as well, right? Now, the, if you do win games, it is obviously better. 
But even when you're losing games, it's not a massive deal, right? You can just play this on any difficulty that you want and get the get the maximum rewards, right? We're going to show you what it looks like even if you lose, okay? Because I know people will ask me, oh, you know, does it matter if I lose? We're going to show you exactly the rewards you get here when you lose, okay? So you can see here that we have it set on professional, okay? We can change that if you want to go for the main reward or the, the rewards in this objective itself. We can put it on legend. We can also put it on beginner and score 10 goals and work our way through other objectives. But the whole thing that we're going to be working towards here is getting the event bonus, getting the manager bonus, and the campaign bonus. So, so this campaign is on, it's got a little sticker beside it. It is a three times experience bonus. We're also going to be getting the 300% bonus because every single player in our starting 11 plus our bench, apart from Lionel Messi, is a center back so we're going to be getting Simeone's coach and affinity bonus as well so yeah I mean you can lose as I said here I'll show you right one other tip that I'll say as well that a lot of people don't actually realize um and look I know people are going to probably copy this this video now it is what it is but a lot of people don't realize that you can actually make subs within the sim mode and get the bonus as well for these for these players it depends on how long you play them sometimes i train them in trade them in at, or sub them in at like the 45 minute mark at half time but i do like to just leave it as it is till maybe the 70th minute you will still get a bonus but you won't get as much and i'll show you that towards the end of the video as well but pretty much you're getting 11 players plus five subs so you're training up and getting the boost on 16 players we're only using messi here because we're actually going for an objective to get wins with messi but I'm just going to show you what it's like even when you lose 4-0 to Girona. So it doesn't make a difference at all to what you're actually trying to achieve here, right? So the first thing that we will look at here is the fact that we are 4-0 down. And we're just going to skip to the, skip to the end of this game, right? We're just simming this, waiting for the match to play out. We've got all our subs brought on. It doesn't matter about the results. It doesn't matter where you play, the, you know, you play your positions or anything like that. You can see the stats there. We got absolutely slaughtered by the legend AI. But we're going to go back in now and we're going to look, right? So these are the experience points that, points that we're getting. So you can see that the likes of Raul Albiol and the likes of the new guys that we have got, uh, Likno and Oscan there at the back uh, or at the bottom, they're going to get the coaching affinity bonus 630, right? That means that they've played the match. Nielsen is the same. For players like Reinildo, who we brought on, he's going to get like less um, and any player that you brought on as a sub is going to get less. But listen, it doesn't really matter. If you've got a couple of a couple of hours to kill and you want to max out your trainer XP, like literally if I'm working on one screen and I'm able to sim on the other, if I'm on meetings or whatever, I will literally do this for like two hours and max out my squad. And the best thing about it is then is that if you pump in a lot of legacy transfers to the likes of Mason Mount or Pulisic or any player that you might want to keep, but then you get better players when eFootball24 launches, you can legacy transfer those up until uh, September. So you're not losing anything. You can just use that experience points over and over and over again with the legacy transfer, as I'm showing you here. So as for the likes of Lombardi, who we've got here, we already showed you at the start of the video. It's very easy to do it. So that maximizes your uh, experience points and how to gain them as quickly as possible. It's the best method. I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if you use it and let me know if you uh, enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe.